was very lucky to fall into luxury travel. I got a background of international trade. I was lucky enough to grow up in between different cultures because I may not sound like, but I am very, very French. And uh, <laughs> I am. <laughs> I am French by um, birth. I grew up in England. I've got a Swiss mom, a German grandmother. So I can truly say I'm more European than just French. And I, when studying international trade, I knew I would want to be in a field where I would use my, those different languages, but I didn't know exactly. And I tend to say that whatever you do, that high-end travel um, industry is somehow the best kept secret in the world. Um, if people knew when doing studies, they would definitely go for it. I don't know if we've got a way of getting the word out. If they knew the richness of our lives, the wonderful experience, the great people we get to meet, I'm pretty sure we would get many, many more people than we do in our wonderful world. My biggest career decision was to leave the first uh, hotel I was working for. I'm, I, I'm not a mover. I'm <laughs> I rather built on a long-term relay relationship, should it be with my uh, the people I work for or the people I work with. And I started my career in the southwest of France in Saint-Emilion Vineyards. So as some would say or some do know, I grew up in a barrel. Nobody's perfect. Um, but I, I worked in that property for more than seven years. And convincing myself that I was going to go on another journey was, I think, the hardest decision. Um, but my husband had moved um, to Paris, so it was a family uh, decision. And I think to launch long in our industry, you also have to have your balance. And as much as we love our work, we also have to make space for our personal lives. And I think... I made that decision, but on the other hand, I'm glad I made it. It's the best decision I ever made. If my husband didn't push me, I don't think I would ever, ever have made that move. Um, and it took me where I am today. And I'm very grateful and thankful. My secret for building that network, those relationships, um, I would say maybe is be honest. Be honest with yourself, be honest with the other ones, be faithful and um, stand for your friends. I mean, you can't let a friend down and basically that's what relationship is about. I tend to make a lot of comparison about the relationship we may build in our industry with the ones you have on a personal level with your friends or even with a, a wife-husband relationship. I mean, be faithful, I mean, stand for your friends. And, um, and don't take it for granted more than anything.